Italian brand Titici got in touch with us to tell us about their new range of bikes. And we thought, frankly, that you might want to have a look as well, particularly there's some pretty innovative tech going on here. Now, we are in the Dolomites. They're based just down the road, so they kindly brought one of their bikes up for us to have a look at. And I'm glad they did, because this, to my mind, is an absolute stunner. Now, I'll confess, I hadn't actually heard of Titici until very recently, but I probably should have done it. It's an Italian brand with a long heritage. They started in the 60s, began making bike frames in the 70s, latterly mountain bikes and cyclocross. But then after renewed investment this year, they've relaunched onto the road and also gravel as well. In total, there are five bikes in the range, two road bikes, two MTBs, and then this one, which, as I said, is the gravel. Now, they all share a number of key features. So they're handmade in Italy, custom made in Italy, should I say, and they all share this feature, the PAT, which is their patented plate absorbing technology. Basically, it's this top tube here, labelled Flexi, which is not something you'd necessarily normally associate with a premium frame but it's here with good reason because it's designed to absorb more vibration and apparently a study by the University of Parma found that it does exactly that it absorbs 18% more vibration than a standard frame despite the incredibly thin profile there the top tube is actually a tube all the way through there is a gap separating the top and the bottom walls. Now the construction of these frames is also really interesting. Given that they can be custom made at no extra cost, you can work out that these do not come out of a mould, which is the most common way of making carbon bikes. Instead, to teach you make their own carbon tubes in Italy, and then they finish individual ones to the required length. Then, in order to join the tubes together, they wrap them in what's called progressive bandage workmanship. So it's basically wrapping with strips of pre-preg carbon fibre, so that's like raw carbon fibre, to securely and then seamlessly join the tubes together before baking it in an oven, and lo and behold, that's what you get. Now, it's not the lightest way of making a carbon frame, although, having said that, this medium-sized gravel frame is still only around a kilo, but lightweight isn't purely the point here. The point is actually to have a completely custom carbon Italian bike. And let's be fair, there aren't many of those knocking around anymore. To get those custom fit measurements, you can head along to one of their dealers and get measured up. Or if you know your own, you can input them on their website, where you can also design your own colour scheme as well, which is something that Lasty in particular would love, I'm absolutely sure. We've described this as a gravel bike, mainly because that's how Titici actually define it. But as anyone who's familiar with GCN will know, we're never really sure exactly what a gravel bike is, as I'm sure, actually, most bike manufacturers do not really know. To try and put this in some kind of context, though, I think it sits between a cyclocross bike and a road bike. It's a little bit more responsive, a little bit more lively than a cross bike. The chain stays a little bit shorter, for example, but it's not quite a road bike. Part of that will just be due to the fatter tyres. This has actually got 40s on, and you can, according to Tichi, squeeze 44s on as well. You could very easy, easy for cyclocross, just put some thinner tyres on there. And unlike many gravel bikes out there, it's not festooned with bosses for mud guards and racks. It's a much purer, simpler frame. Now, given that the frame can be completely custom made, you can, of course, also choose whatever components you would like to put on here. This one has been adorned mainly in Italian finery. We've got Physique on there, we've got 3T on there, we've got Vittoria, as well as that Shimano Ultegra mechanical drivetrain. And before we leave it, I'd like to come a little bit closer just for one second. We'll have a look at the exposed carbon weave there instead of decals. That is a nice touch. Like I said, this bike is an absolute stunner. If you forgive me, though, I'm gonna go off and ride it now. The Dolomites are littered with amazing gravel roads and also some kind of simple mountain bike trails that I think could be right up this bike's street. Uh, do make sure you to subscribe to GCM before leaving this video. Just click on the globe to do so, it's completely free. And then if you wanna see some more content, how about 
What can gravel bikes do that road bikes can't? It's an absolute classic GCM video. That one is just down there. Or to see what a cyclocross bike is as we try and define yet another genre of bikes, click just down there.